What's up, YouTube world? You know where we are. Got Papa Bear in the truck. <laughs> you probably recognize this rest stop from a few of our most recent acquisition videos, but we're at it again here. Uh, this is kind of a last minute thing. We had a big plan this weekend to go to Arkansas and pick up a car, but that kind of blew apart. So this weekend is kind of a, I guess this is about as off the cuff as they come, but we're heading down to Pennsylvania again. Uh, same area where I bought that 1977 Lincoln Mark V, the yellow one. And uh, this is like totally last minute, like one trip got canceled and like 10 minutes later another trip was formed. So we're in my trusty Rusty here. I don't think I gave you guys a real good uh, walk around of this thing yet. I'll tell you all about it. We're filling it up with gas. $75 worth. Holy. I'm going to do a video about this truck. I'm going to resurrect this truck and make this thing uh, my daily driver. Actually, it's already been my daily driver uh, for the last few months. But um, I'm going to clean it up. It's got boogers and stuff all over the headliner. My sister had three kids, has three kids, and uh, all three of them were brought home from the hospital, grew up, and threw up, and shot snot rockets all the <laughs> back of this truck. So she needs a good cleaning, but I'm gonna I'm gonna resurrect it. That's a cool Ford pulling a Ford. Yo. Yo, come over here. We need a picture in front of the sign. So people. No, we'll take our picture. Look at us. We're both wearing matching shirts. We got them at the same place. I know, huh? We work for the same guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Um, on the way back from Arkansas, I was planning on stopping in to see the car we're going to look at. Kind of like in route, maybe a two for special, but um. Unfortunately, you know, that kind of got thrown by the wayside. So Friday when I was told about this, I was all bummed out. and like, oh, I'm going to miss out on two cars. Thought about it for like an hour. I said, you know what? Let's go to Pennsylvania. Hey, Papa Bear, you want to go to Pennsylvania? Yeah, all right, let's go to Pennsylvania. Here we are. Look at these conducting calls. Business. Friday wasn't all that bad of a day, though. Uh, I did have some new inventory dropped off. I was very excited about. Again, I always tell everybody to follow me on social media like Facebook and Instagram because you would have seen a picture of these two cars coming out of Michigan. Um, they were delivered yesterday, uh, Friday morning, at like 8.30 in the morning. Oh, which is early morning delivery. So those are both in. Uh, one of them is a 1991 Cadillac Brougham, silver car, gray leather. I sold the car about three years ago. It just came back in on consignment. Uh, I don't even think the guy put a thousand miles in the car. So that'll probably come up pretty quick. And the other car is a 1998 Lincoln Mark 8. All you Hoovy guys, that's a Mark, 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 Mark. I lost count, it's a Mark 8. <laughs> Collector's edition. Sun is going down for tomorrow. Uh, slight concern, as I just noticed. What the heck is going on here? What do we got? Do we got something leaking? I don't know. I'm like trying to watch, but oh, that's yeah, fresh. Yeah, that looks fresh. It smells like diesel almost. That's like just puddle. Like you weren't parked here? Oh, what's this? Maybe it's the oh it is leaking from under the truck. Oh boy. I don't have the AC on. Where's your light? Huh? Yeah, let me let me do it the car with car wizard style. You see the light? Over here? Yeah.
give it the lick test? No, don't. It, it's <gasps> Uh-huh. Kinda smells like soap. Oh the bugs. Ew. I don't know. Kinda got me concerned a little bit. We haven't had the AC on for hours. Alright, so <laughs> ending the night, we're here in Pennsylvania. A couple weird things. The Hampton Inn we stayed at is right across the way when we came for the Lincoln Mark V. We're staying at this other place. There is nothing leaking from the bottom of the truck. I thought it was. It freaked me out. Must have been there from somebody else. We just had a delicious meal. A great meal. At the roadside, where was it? Texas Roadhouse? Texas Roadhouse. We ate like kings. I guess if you can eat like kings there. <coughs> but... The car that we're picking up is literally like two minutes up the street. So, like this, it seems to be a lucky area for me. But we're going in, we're going to bed, hit some junkyards tomorrow after we go pick up this town car. So, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, Papa Bear. Good morning. And I, <laughs> every time we come to Pennsylvania, it rains out. It was beautiful yesterday, and we wanted to go to junkyards today. It's not raining, it's kind of misting, but you can tell it just poured out. Got to make the best of it. We did bring two pairs of shoes just in case, but we're going to look at this Lincoln Town Car 2004 or 5, I don't even remember. Lincoln Town Car Ultimate Package. White car, like a pro white it looks like, with a cranberry colored cloth top. Anybody who just watched my video on that 93 Fleetwood knows this is my color combination. It's supposed to have 40,000 miles in a one owner car, so we're on our way. It's like literally two minutes up the way from here, so we're gonna go take a look at it and uh, see if we can get it done. Well, hopefully, we can get it done because we drove all the way here for that. Right, Papa Bear? That's right. That's we right. will get it done. We'll get it done, and then we'll hit some junkyards, have some muddy feet. Oh, hey. <laughs> What do you think? I think it's a nice car. You always get a thumbs up. It's got HID headlights. Beautiful burgundy stripe. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a weird eggshelly pearl white. I don't know if I've ever seen one this color before. Chrome wheels. Ultimate sunroof. Clean but dirty. Very dirty. 39,000 miles. I like this car. Can't wait to clean it. Back seat looks like it's never been sat in. We all know those are coming off. Code 2000. What is that? 20, those are new. Yep. Clean but dirty. New tires coming off. Just put on. I did since 2004. Wow. So before that, I know they had a 
Trim, that's cool. I'm in love with this car. Thirty-nine thousand one hundred and sixty-three miles. Two sets of keys. Well, the other one's in my pocket. But look what <laughs> uh, I want that one too. So this car was the grandfather's car, and it was supposed to be left to the father. But the father's got that one with the brown top and doesn't like the burgundy top. But the father's has got 70,000 miles. So I said, oh, let me know when you want to sell that one because I like that one just as much as I like burgundy tops. I didn't even drive this thing. I'm <laughs> just like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, man. It's just everything is right about this beautiful interior this thing smells so nice inside like you know it's got some grimy spots on the handrails and stuff like that but it's uh it's really clean it needs a set of white walls bad this car is gonna absolutely pop with a set of white walls um and i feel bad these tires are brand new uh, but it's not the first time i've done that i've taken brand new tires off these cars before I can't do it without the without the white wall. I just can't do it. Here's a good little walk around of this town car. It's a 2004 Ultimate Burgundy Top. It's like a real cool eggshelly color. What I really like about it is obviously the burgundy top. Oh, but it's got the HID headlights, which is really cool. I think all these cars should have come with HID headlights. There's my dad. Pumping up the Escalade, <laughs> thinking like, my son is absolutely nuts, but I love it. He got a good dinner last night. My father got such a good dinner last night, he was so full that he wasn't even looking for breakfast this morning. Nor was I. Beautiful paint. This car's a really nice car. Just put four brand new Mastercraft tires on. Like, brand, brand new. Those are coming off. If anybody's interested in a set of black walls, let me know. Top's in beautiful shape. One thing I noticed and we were, we were commenting, the guy that I was actually selling it was the granddaughter's husband. Um, the <laughs> nice old man that owned this car loved waxing it. There's wax everywhere on this car. All You can see all inside like the pinstripe here. You just scrape it all off. There's like wax everywhere. All around the emblems. So it's going to take me quite a bit to get the wax cleaned off, you know, but it, it comes off, you know, it's, look at it's all up in the jam here, you know, just so you got to kind of pick it away, get a little toothbrush, we'll take that off. Beautiful, like a light, light, very light gray interior. This is makeup from his wife who actually passed away in 2012, you know, so... You see that a lot. You know, it's dirty over there. Just, you know, kind of careless dirty. But I can get that seatbelt nice and clean. He does have the original floor mats. Those are in the trunk. These cool taillight bezels. Both sides. Still got the top uh, tag. All the top is in really nice shape. Like, oh, this will clean up, this will clean up real nice. Shampoo the carpet, seat. This is just dirty from, like, never being cleaned. I don't know what that stain is in the seat. Kind of concerning. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll clean that up. You know, just grime and dead skin. Ooh. Dirty but clean. I like it though. Anyways, so we're gonna hit up some junkyards. We're gonna figure out where we are. Town car acquired, and we are inbound to specialty motor cars. This place is insanely huge. We're here at 
where we at? Grebels. You pull it. Oh my god, this, this is like the Christ. There's two Chrysler rows. GM's over there. There's gotta be a thousand, two thousand cars here. Not much anymore. Old Chrysler Fifth Ave. Two of them. PA cars. Mercedes. Up our way, those things are all rotted out. Absolutely no rust on it. Oh, my Woody, Woody, Woody. Roadmaster by Buick. Oh, wow. They got it all here. Look at an old rototill like the one you have. Yeah. Holy shit. JC Penny. Engine don't look that old. No, it doesn't. JC Penny special. Wow, there's got rows and rows of GMs. Oh my God. This uh, Cadillac DeVille, this is a spring edition. You can tell by the wheels, painted door handles, and the top. Oh, it's got some kind of cool gold emblems. Let's see if we can get these things off without breaking them. That didn't work out. <laughs> this is a Cadillac I think this is a 60 special with those crazy power C. Oh, someone tore the shit out of that. Oh, nice. I will take that. The real wood, missing the skirts. It's got an aftermarket luggage rack. So we need a taillight housing. Oh yeah. Look at the seat controls on this thing, huh? Holy moly. These things were like so juiced up in its day. This is what I need. Center light bar. Oh, it's broken. That's what I need right there. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, that sucks. Maybe there's one on another one. Gray leather. Oh, I'll take those door clips. You see those door clips? Good to have. More door clips. Had to stop filming. It was starting to get rainy, real rainy. It's obviously stopped now, but we're just going through our pull here. Got a town car tail light. This cool dealer license plate. These are kind of rare. The T switches, they call them. This for the sunroof. Cadillac. A couple Lincoln town car center caps. Put those there. Cup holder for a DeVille. Little... Pop up there. And I are off to the next yard. Yeah, the brown one. No, 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 it's below the brown one. Oh, yeah. Look at There's a town car in there. <laughs> wow, there's like a wall of yeah, crushed I, cars. I there's another town car right here. Holy Moses, these things are crushed. All the old iron. Used as a gate now. Chrysler Town and Country. Old Buick. Wow, this is insane. This place is just as big as the last place. Yeah, I know, huh? Eldorado. See the Eldorado here? Yeah. 70, early 70s. Uh, no, that's like a 79 to 84. Okay. Wow. Bonneville. You don't see those things. Old Jag. Fleetwood. I think I'm more excited about all these crushed cars than the nice ones. These are all old GMs, Fords. There's a 1990 town car. Chevy Caprice, box Caprice in there. Wow. Look at this. This place is huge. I mean, they gotta have. I mean, oh, just, this is insane. Look at all the engines. Yeah. What? It's like, that's insane. Transmissions, torque converters. This is insane. The amount of cars processed through here. Oh, another fleet went down there. They got miles of. I mean, we are like. How far away do you think we are from the building, Dad? 
I don't know. I mean, they got fucking... This is insane. Absolutely insane. This has to be about the farthest on one end. This is the furthest away. We came here... Talk one... about the score of the day. Look at this thing, huh? What do you got there, Anthony? Fifth wheel. <laughs> Fifth wheel. I thought you rode on four. Four. How are we gonna get this all the way up front? On your back. Holy shit! Oh. This place really is Fleetwood limo. Papa Bear. We got a Papa Bear. Give you an idea. This is the GM and Chrysler section. There's one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Double set cars in each row. And then there's two more sections beyond those. I've never seen a junkyard this big. And the crazy thing, we actually came to this yard before. And um, we didn't know this section was back here. We came looking for Cadillacs. They had like two old vintage Cadillacs up front. And we thought that was it. So we just left. Another Fleetwood. Look at all these cars. I mean, caddies. There's a little pink Eldorado. I mean, just miles. And this is like the back corner, but look at this mound. I mean, this car stacked, there's mounds of engines. This is insane how many cars they process here. And I bet half of these cars didn't even go through the processing part. You know, it's still got center caps on it. These are kind of rare. I mean, this is insane. They got them all out here, too. Absolutely crazy. Old Aurora up on the top. There you go, Big Al. Junkyard run two. Got a taillight bar, lighted, for a 93, uh, 95, 6, 7 town car. And this was the score. Right, carries you pull it. And I brought this taillight up, and the guy's like, oh, you're going to hate me. I'm like, why? Oh, those taillights, we charge a dollar an inch for. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, what the heck? And then they charged me 50 cents for the bulbs. Each bulb. Each bulb. So that thing was like 60 bucks. No bargain there. But then he sold me this for cheap, because I didn't know what it was. Paid 25 bucks for it. Not a bad deal, right? So, we got some cars. I got a unibrow, because I got grease all over my face. We got... <laughs> We got a town car, we got car parts. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, we're gonna get dried off and we're heading home. All right, big change of plans. Oh my God. We're leaving the town car in Pennsylvania. Gotta take the plate off of it. Uh, gotta get my stuff out of it. My money, the title for it, I gotta take all my stuff out of it. We gotta leave it here in Pennsylvania. Oh, we're in the middle of Pennsylvania. We're leaving the town car, Central PA Auto Auction. Oh, bye, Lincoln. We'll see you again. Sorry, we couldn't take you the whole way. The inside light's gonna go off. All right, I just abandoned my Lincoln town car in the middle of Pennsylvania. We didn't break down. We didn't decide we hated the car. We left it at a dealer auction, but we're not going to sell it. Total plot twist. As we were getting ready to come home, just as I finished filming in that junkyard, um, I am changing the plans. My dad thinks I'm nuts. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see him, but he's driving the Escalade. We had to dump the town car. I don't even know how to explain this. Got an opportunity to drive five and a half hours the opposite way to head to Ohio, Canton, Ohio, to look at a 1990 Cadillac Brome de Elegance. 5.7 liter car, autumn maple fire mist, burgundy leather interior. I mean, a gorgeous Royal Seal equipped car. With 26,000 miles. Um, a totally last minute thing. I saw it advertised. Tons of people messaged the lady about it. I'm sure some of you people, used people out there, 
message her about this car because a lot of people drop my name saying, oh, Anthony, sell it to Anthony. Is Anthony buying it? So for all those people who drop my name in good word, I know who you are. And all those people who might not have been too nice, I know who you are. So <laughs> we're turning around. Instead of going home, which we were supposed to go home tonight, we're heading back the opposite direction. We're going to Ohio. We're going to get there about midnight. And we're going to go take a look at this Cadillac Brome. If all goes to plan, I don't know how, but we're taking it with us. So we're going to drive through the night here. we got a couple hours of driving. We're heading to Ohio. And uh, we're going to look at what looks to be an absolutely gorgeous 90 Cadillac Brome. I'm excited you're still following along at this point. It's 11.44. We're in the middle of nowhere in Ohio, somewhere. Off the beaten path. Somehow, we got a eighth of a tank of gas. Like middle of nowhere. Um, <laughs> I hope this is worth it. Where the heck are we? I think it's gonna be on your left over here where that boat is. He said it's near a boat. Where are we? Yep, yeah. just turn the light on. There it is. Where? Right there. On the other side. Hello. 